and now I'll come back home. So now make we start today see how JSX they work and make we start today look how we feel even they create our own JSX and how we feel make our React project today work nice for us for here. So So make me clean some of these codes out first before we start to even know waiting with the C for here. So I could just clean these top ones here. And then for inside this app component, you see that just function will be app. But then I want to be say I want clean uh this 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 divs for here. I want clean them all the way up to the top. So make we clean up from here all the way to this top. So make we just leave only one div for here. So this here, like this, now our app component. And this is say our app component. It just return simple div. Now, what thing they do? We they give them class name and all those things. So the first thing we go like to understand about JSX, we say, you know, say I don't tell them, I say JSX, not simple HTML, but you feel they put JavaScript into RAM. JSX, they allow us, maybe say we feel write our own JavaScript to the DOM without make with a write many JavaScript to the, to the enter, to the display the content on top of the DOM or for the screen. Then I'm waiting the whole JSX thing they help us they do. So because of that, if we say we want the render things and we want the show things for the screen, how we want to take the DOM with our JSX? Very simple. If you come here now and if you create an example here, so if you just say for because I want to write uh, HTML and uh, JavaScript, I will come say we want to write curly brace. And once you do this curly brace like this for here, now, so if you write your JavaScript, so if you talk, say, okay, oh, for JavaScript, make we just say we want to do two times two for here. And if I feel do two times two for here like this, this JavaScript, this go evaluate for JavaScript, this expression of two times two, it will give us four. So because it will give me four for here, this expression, if we say make we make we open up for the browser, all you will see now just number four. So make we talk say um we want to add some HTML to RAM. So if you don't like this, if you just say you want to do make we wrap them inside the P tag himself. So I go say P and then I could just press tab for there. So image itself they work for my React. So so I could just use this one and then I could just talk say okay, well now why they use um this P tag? I want to wrap this expression inside this P tag. So we get a div with a p tag inside them just for text and then we just get this javascript which just tell us two times two which could give us four so make we say um we'll write something make we just say i am um, and then we could just leave it like this with this expression for here and then we could just say uh yes yes okay now if i press save make we launch our um make we launch them so make sure say if you run this command so go run this command remember say i don't show now where all the commands they did if you don't know the commands for your script just come into your package.json and if you come into your package.json file now here you go you see all your uh your scripts where you're supposed to run for your react project so make i close them control w go close your uh, uh tab where you work with and then if you come here so for inside my uh terminal for here make i make a big for now for inside this terminal for here what you want to do say one run PNPM, remember saying a PNPM where they use, no be NPM. But now where they use NPM, if you use NPM. Now where they use yarn, if you use yarn and any other one that they use. So here we they use PNPM, PNPM, and once say one run there. Now, once we run them, um, this go help us start our development server. We we'll say it go to give us hot reload and all those things. I don't already explain given our, uh, all this FZ with it here. We go enter the browser. And you just say we get this I am four years old. So make I bring my browser come here and make we push the browser here, make we bring our text editor come here and uh make we close this one. So for inside here now, like this, I'm also make we just toggle this one. Remember, just leave your server, make it a run, and then we fit uh work with here this uh much space. So this is saying now JSX only tell us say I am four years old. So any expression when you want, if you do uh if you do 12 times 12, it will do the same. If you do 12 uh divided, if you run any arithmetic sign, anything when it has to do with mass, if you do 12 plus 2 minus 2, you know matter, it will work exactly the same for you. If I save them, you go see say they talk 14 for here because 12 plus 2 now nah, just 14. So if you do anything when you want for um for inside your jsx so just this little thing where we just do for here this is a very powerful technique where jsx they give us so as we decode along we're now go understand why we need to write our code inside braces and i'm going to teach you now some kind of modern ways where you're going to use this approach to put things for inside your code like this so
So make we come out to this p tag and make we try see some kind of things. So if you look for inside this div or for inside the browser here, make I even make this smaller. So if you look for inside here, you can see say for inside this my uh um p tag where they here like this. What thing they be say? I just uh, they put them inside this div. We get class of app, and they put them inside this div. We get class name of app. So the difference between JSS and HTML, we say we feel right. You know, say we feel right JavaScript for inside here, but we also feel right classes. So for HTML, if you want to write class, you go say in a class, right? You know, say so go down like this, and then you go fit put your class. So if you just call up app. If I don't like this, React no go understand what they do. Just remember, say whenever you they write React, you they use class names. No be class, you they use class names. And remember, say the names they they write down like this class and then uh, uppercase name. Then we they call this syntax, this kind of way of naming, we they call them a uh, camel case. Camel case naming convention. So the idea be say you go write a small letter class and then you go write the name in big letter. The way they write your normal JavaScript, right? So then how we they write this code for you. So if you call them here now and I press it into here and make we open up the console. So if you see say we get this warning for inside the console and this warning they tell us say property class. Did you mean class name? So this now why React they very interesting to the work with because when we make mistake like this, as I remember when I first started to learn React, I always write class, class, class because I did forget say class name. So whenever you make this mistake, always they check your dev tool whether uh, you get all these warnings and all that. So warning just means say it gonna work, but if it cause you problem in the future, no be error where it will even cause, but not just warning. So just remember say if you want to get rid of that, you go first need to do class name. And if you do that class name, we can clean this and you press save for here. It go, uh, it's supposed to clean the code to make we refresh. And you see, say the error or the warning, it don't come up for the screen. So, so this is now how we they add class for React. So now another thing we have like show now with the very, very important. Now say JSX, if they only take one element, meaning say you're gonna need to they wrap your code on top something, that's a very important thing. So for example, if to say I want to write this P now and uh i want to do another thing for here now and then i want a div inside here so i could just duplicate this p and make we move on here for the paragraph that you can see say uh, already my bs code uh does they want me say oga 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 you don't miss something say jsx expression must have one parent element meaning say this wrapper where we used before this div Nine go only if it be the parent element. Even if now P we want wrap, so if you wrap everything inside this P, for example, if you say okay, we well, want done like this, and then if you wrap this P, so if you come here and wrap this P, go see say the error don't clear itself. And if I press save, pretty I go help me arrange the code. Say everything they work well well for me for here. So if you want to wrap all your React components, if you want to wrap them, make you make if you want to um, create JSX, make sure say you they always wrap. Your JSX inside one element, inside one parent element. Always they make sure say they don't like that. Even if you even use empty tags, meaning say if you don't like this, sorry, and this alone, just this empty tags, we don't get any div or anything for here. React will see the work the same. Meaning say if you come here and say P and you make it like this, or make I even put that formal code inside here. So I feel wrap them inside here. And then I feel wrap this ones inside here. So this empty fragment, we call this one fragment. Okay, this fragment, this empty one here. If you wrap anything inside, and it react will still work the same without giving you an issue. So make we press save, make a refresh. You just say it they give me wait with this. Um oh yes. So because say I do use the div and the p and all that good stuff, so make we just come out this one. Aha, uh -huh. press save. And now, if I refresh the page, you go see say all these issues. It don't come out. I go see say React. They work fine, fine because I get this empty fragment where they here. Make we even inspect the code. Make we see what's in the happen for here. Um, make I open up the browser and then make we come the code for here and make we try see what's in React. They help us to do so already. Just like a typical HTML document, all these ones now waiting there are HTML. And then for inside here, you they see say we they pass in the root. Where they here, where they collect all our JavaScript. So all this app, you see, say we get the div with the app for here, and you see, say we get the p with the app, um, with the app for here, and where they show us this as a string, the fourteen years. So our JSX they evaluate this string or this text as a string for us for here. 
okay so just remember say we feed the ad um with, with jsx we feed the ad our javascript inside our jsx so now we're going to make our dynamic content or our dynamic um text to the show for the screen so if you want to debug your um, React code, sometimes you go want to see them as a component. So make I show you how we feed them. The first thing you're gonna need to do now, say you want to go Chrome store. So if you come Chrome Web Store, you go feed install the React Developer Two. So make me come here and then you just type in React Dev Two. And if you come React Developer um, Two, uh, this React Developer Two, waiting they help us do and get some other ones waiting here. But waiting this one they help us do, which now the React team, it they help us they debug our React code. So you see, say many people don't already download them and you supposed to install them for your browser. So me, I don't already install them also. Now very helpful too. They help us to show our us the DOM components and which components we work with. So make we go back into this one where we work with. And this is say here now this now the standard um debugging HTML where we they use this one now we use. You see they work for us nice, but for your own browser you could just come here. Maybe if you don't show like this for now, but you could come here into components. You could see this React icon. Make sure so you don't activate the browser. Uh, extension for here and you see say now it they give me the react component now this one we they use the debug our react code okay it be like say view self get their own but i'm not too sure and so waiting we day here for inside this app component this year now go they show us all the components where we they want the debug it they show us all the props for the components it they give us waiting the, waiting they render the component which we had the uh, components they take render everything we need even the source file it they give us that information about our component so it they help us they do many helpful things with our component they even do some kind of other things where we say the profile and you know i want to do more debugging things when i feel do for them but already waiting like they usually use now these components and with this one i feel they click here i feel they find the components where i want it you see say they help me see the work just like the normal html but they help me they give me everything i need for these components where i want to work with so make we just keep that in mind i'll make a close here and uh, now if you look here you will see say this is my html and all that it's just a show for here so if you come here inside my uh, make i make this come here sir so if you come here and uh, make we look inside this our app component you go see say i just import only this uh app.css for here if i come on this app.css and press save you go see say the styles it don't come out all right and this is say everything don't come out but it is say it's see the black for here why be that well then I'm because i don't import the global styles for inside one file and that file now the main.css so if you come inside then at this index.css where did they call for here if you come inside this index.css you go see say now here all the styles will be fine so of course if i clean up here it go turn to white background but not waiting we want for now so make we say we want to leave them back we go some cleaner but make we leave them for now and make we just say we want to work with the um um index of css for here or the app.css because it get the way if you they add your css for react now if you they work with react or with html remember say i don't tell and i say we get inline styles and we get uh, external styles for css so the inline styles for react i go show now how we feel do the inline styles so whenever you want to do inline styles for react make we say you get this p tag and make we say we want to make only the number 14 make we say we want to make them red all right so how we go take drum for re for inside our jsx well now very simple thing so the first thing we would like to do is say we go like first make this 14 on your own make it just be like a component so what i want to be say i will just wrap up inside a span so i will say here that span and this span i will just wrap the text into them and i will soon see why they make them span in a minute and then if i press save you will see they work the same okay but of course with space and you will see they work the same so make we talk say we won't give this number 14 uh in your own style only in your own style so the inline way to do I'm not say you go just write style. And if you do style like this, if you write your style inside here, how? You're gonna need an object. And that object go if you write all your CSS styles inside here. So make me say we want an object. And then we will say we want to change the color. And this color, because an object, you can assign them to your property and then you'll give them a value. So we'll say the value for this object, make we make the color to red. Okay. Now if you save one for here. You can see say, the text for this number 14 don't change to red all right okay zoom that in a bit you can see say, no, the 14 don't change to 
red. So the whole idea be say with these styles like this now, we feel even make them more dynamic. We feel even say, okay, oh, if now something make the text be red, oh, if now something else make the text be blue, you don't understand. So now so we feel they write all these things with our React code. Then now waiting, they make React very interesting to the work with. They say we just feel little good. We don't do this much. And again, if you come here. If you add even more styles, so of course, to add more styles, you'll know, say color red. If you say um, font size, so if you say fonts, also, if you want to do font size, you don't get font dash size because for CSS, now if you use font dash size, I don't even forget, you know, this see. So, what you're supposed to be saying, you're supposed to font size, okay? So, you'll say font with uppercase size. Then, now you could use camel case, they do everything. So, remember, as we just write the class name, then the same way we could take right. The font size so we'll say font size the font size make we say one make the font size uh 20. so if you say one time font size 20 like this now it will work because why font size we just set them to number so always remember your types for react say this number or this 20 now number will not be string be this okay so if i press save for here you will see say the font size don't reach 20 so it make i make them 54 on our first so if i make them you will see say now this font size don't be 50. But then I just 50. But what if I want to do 50 pixels? How go take drum? Well, if you want to do 50 pixels and you do like this, you go get an error. You'll get an error, an error warning. So if I press save now, you go see say my code, my real code, it don't break for here. So now we'll take drum. If you notice, say I put this red inside the string. Then I why if you they write these pixels because 50 is a number. And px now letters you're gonna to need to wrap them and those are two different values right you're gonna to need to wrap them inside a string so you could just put them inside a string like this with quotes and if you press save for here it will work well, well for you and you know will give you any error so this now some of the nice gadgets or tricks we say if they write jsx and they get all these bugs and all those things as time goes on you go to understand don't worry yourself and so you go learn how to fix all these kind of things so if you come here now and you say okay you get this font size of 50 pixels if you even change them to rem so if you say rem or em or, or all those things so this is not how you feel right your um, styles in line what if we want write more styles like what if we if we get plenty plenty styles and want add them if they put them in line like this our code it go ugly, it go war war way way, it no go fine, it no go day readable. If they say our eyes go to turn. So how we feel drum? Well, very simple. What do we feel do we say? We feel cut this object and we feel assign them to something. So if you just say make we cut them, and then make we just call this object, say uh my styles. And if we say my styles like this for here as an object, we never assign this variable here also. Now why never day, okay? So make we come here and then make we assign that variable for here. Or inside the component so if you just say const my styles and we could just assign them to an object or back to those styles we used before so if we don't like this and we press save you go see say the code see they work exactly the same why because this my styles not just an object where we they put all our styles inside okay so if you even make it like this and then if you you know make whatever styles you want one size um if you give them a margin when you work with margins if you want to give margins for your react you know say sometimes if you just give like 10 pixels 20 pixels they say always put them inside string because you they work with that kind of margin so if you just say 10 pixels uh for the top and bottom then if you just say um 25 pixels for the left and for the right right so we can make it like this i just say we get that margin where they give us like so always remember say whenever you work with styles and all that if you do your styles like this also if you also make them as long as say now global styles if you push them up out of your function or out of your component and as long as say they inside the file where we they work with if not if you know they're available you will get an error so if you press save you'll get the typical react uh you'll get this error say uh you know get uh, this element for here because if you open up the dev tool you're supposed to see a warning we're going to let us know say i can open here you can see say oh this component in no day say my styles is not defined that means this styles for here you know they defined so always remember say uh whenever things know they work open your dev tool no fear no fear this error no fear error in fact if you see error say they happy say they see error because now errors will show you what you they do wrong.
make we say we want to add some other styles so make we see how we they put the external styles so all these ones where i just showed on are the inline styles basically and uh the, the this one they work like external style but the the idea we say they they show differently they do things differently okay so how we want to take import our own style simple you will just come here into our css file you see say we get this app.css so whenever you make a component for example let us say you make like a app component and this app component or, or you make like a text component so make we do that right now make we create an a, a text component so we want a component we say we go make it like this make we use that one as example so i could just come here uh, into here, into this, uh, my main directory for inside this SRC direct um, path for here. I'll come inside this SRC folder and for here, I could just right click and then I go say, I want to add a new file. So I go add a new file for here. And the file we want to add now, the text components, let me call them text um, dot gsx. So if you call our text dot gsx, this will make sure say this is not text components will be work with. So you do it like this. And, um, when we do it like this, you could see, say we feel write our JSX for here, but also because say we want to style the component, make we try do them separately. So we will create another file for here for inside the SRC directory. We will create another file. Make we call them this text.css. And we will add any styles where we want for here. Okay. So first inside the um text um the text.jsx, then at the main file, what you want to do is say you want to create a React component. So how we take do them? For us so if you just say we want to create a function because remember say we do use functional component and this functional component which is one column say one column be text component okay now once you call out this text component we don't need any parameter for here for now and then what you want to be say we want to make it return a text right so make we come back and so our p tag and make we just return this whole p tag component for here so i could just cut them and then i will paste them inside here now, once I paste them inside here, I go need to return this component because remember I say now function within inside. So I go need to say return, and I want to return this p tag. Remember I say now just one component way I did try return. And for here, make we even talk say we don't need the styles for here. So I could just come out the styles, and make we press save. So now this will be a text component. We just return the normal I am. 14 years old and for inside this text of jsx which i want to do for here to say so we'll say export default and then we want to export default the name of the component which now the text component now are just all we they do so because we they export this text components now this is say they give us jsx element that now waiting be so this jsx element now we feel they work with them you see say we don't even import react into here self so make we come here into the app directory and then we go like import this component for here so what do you want to say we want import so we'll say import um what do you want to import now the text okay we want to import the text component from where we want to import them at one important from the src directory or for the same directory where we did so because we did the same directory we go use the path to the files where we want you could say dot slash and once you do it like this you go see say our vs code don't they suggest to us the components where we for like import so because say we want the text components which we go some commands we could just put the text components for here so this component they are available to us inside our app component so because we get that component like this what if you do we say so for inside this our app div with the here angle brackets then on the opening one and then you go say text and then you go close out so to close your JSX, because we just want only one component, so you go say slash, and then you go close them for here. So once you do it like this, it's self-closing. This just means, say, we get this component like this, and then don't get any picking, and it just render this component. We feel duplicate them. So remember, say, I tell you now, for the beginning, say, React now for reusable code and reusable components. So that means, say, we feel duplicate this this uh, code any amount of time. So I will just press Ctrl Shift D, and go duplicate them as many times, and it will show me that many hello um, um age for there and anytime where we get this component now if we render them somewhere if we want to change the age for example we want to make it just say 10 plus 10 which could be give us uh, uh 20 so if you don't like this you will see say everything for here now don't be 20 years old so then i wait that are the power of reusable component then i'm waiting reusable component so next time now when we want to make this text now 
we no need to distress ourselves we could just get this text we could issue us this every time anytime if we, want, if we go another file again and we say more important we go important just like this the user it going to work exactly the same because we get them as a component so then i'm waiting our jsx components they be make me say one make them more interesting you make it the year they change based on a condition so first thing we'll do say make i clean all these ones with the here and then make we go back into our app uh, our text components with the here and for inside this text component what i want to be say i want to write an expression i want to write um, i want to write condition and this condition i want to say okay well, if something happen make it do something like i want to write an if statement as we do them so because um we they use jsx jsx and if you use javascript inside our jsx it is very important make you know how to write all these kind of things so make we come here so make we say want a variable i'm going to assign this variable to norm and if we say norm make we just assign this norm this number to uh 30 and then make we say we get some kind of other variables so if you just say uh let my text and make we say this my text we want to assign them to something we go say uh how far so we're gonna say how far you want to write an if statement here and you want to make the if statement do something like if something happen make something happen so if you just say if num make we say if the number they less than and then make we just say oh because the number go day less than you know make we say 50 then make we say if not like that then make we write make it change the text of my text they can say how or the okay so if the person day uh, less than 50 otherwise if not norm the text could be this so make we try set this text for here because remember say norm now 30 so make we come here so make we add some more dynamic text for the top here and we will just put our curly brace here so for inside this curly brace remember now here we go fit add our javascript so what you want to add now this text for here we go tell us say how far i am something years old whatever 20 years old so you see say it shows us how body and just like that we they get this dynamic condition we we'll say it they change to how body because why number they less than 50 even if we call them say how far but if number now if number now can't change in number let's say the number can't change to uh uh 130 for example 100 because they say the text it don't change to how far i am 20 years old make we come out this number here and then if you just change this to num so whenever we call them num because they say this num whatever the value of this num be now waiting and uh, we feel we could show for here so this is how far i am 100 and 30 years old what if you say uh make we change them to 30 you can say how body i am 20 years old just with that simple uh, uh conditional statement we don't they do it like that and even because now jsx where we they write we even write them in very interesting ways for example if you just say make we use the ternary operator so if you just uh make we clean this if statement for here or inside here because we won't work with this text so we'll say if num if it they less than 50 then we want to return something so because say with the use array operator then we'll say how uh, body otherwise because now ternary operator with the user one can say how far so if you put inside string you'll say how far let me make a more case how far and if i press it for here it will do exactly the same thing but because now jsx where we they use for here we feel right our string we feel right uh, our code like this and in no good disturb us at all make i just make it like this so i don't get that error <laughs> so make you say about like this and you just say we don't need even this text here just like that we they use this number to the check say if number they less than 50 then it could do like this otherwise it could tell us how far so of course if you make um say um 60 it could tell us how far i am 60 years old for here for the next video we go explore more about the components that all we will go fit length if you they enjoy this kind of video i beg make me let me know if you get suggestion you feel also let me know for the comment side of this video and they always they try and reply but if you now want hear me directly no wala now if you join our telegram community otherwise thanks for watching oh.